Let's say you are completely terrified of the concept of creating videos on your own. You feel like you are you are fighting an uphill battle when it comes to creating videos. It's taken you forever to do it in the past and you want to find an easier way. Well, in this video tutorial for beginners, we are going to walk step by step through that process. What's up y'all, I'm Amanda Horvath and I am here to make video accessible to the masses so that you can get your message out into the world. On this channel, I have tons of tutorials that is gonna make video a whole lot easier for you. So if you aren't already, be sure to subscribe. And if you are looking for a very step-by-step -step process to get up and running very quickly, then be sure to check out the description below for several resources to get you up and running. Video does not have to be this big beast that you feel like you need to conquer and struggle your way through. And if it's felt like that in the past, it's likely because you are doing things that are purposefully creating obstacles in your path. The biggest obstacle that I see newbies to video, cre newbies to the creation of videos do is to get overly complicated in the kind of videos they want to create. They try to create this epic vlog having never created a video or this really amazing brand video that has lots of different cuts and you're telling a whole story and all that kind of stuff. No, no, let's, let's just completely wash that away. What you need to do, what you need to learn how to do is just create simple talking head videos like this one. Now, that might be triggering at first because you want to stretch your creativity and make really awesome videos. But I want you to start by doing simple videos like this one because it's going to eliminate a lot of barriers and you can learn the process from start to finish of creating a video. You can learn how to set up your shots, how to design it to look good, how to script your videos, how to record, how, how to work on your on-camera presence because that's a huge part of being on camera. And if you're fearful, I get you, I used to be too. So I'll link to a video in the cards about that. And then also you'll learn how to edit a simple video instead of trying to combine all of these different clips into one video. So the first tip is really keep it simple. You've heard the whole KISS method, keep it simple, stupid. Well, that very much applies when it comes to video. The other thing I wanna point out is that these kinds of videos, the simple talking head videos like this one, is actually all that you need to be successful online. If you look at my YouTube channel, the majority of the videos on my channel are shot with this approach. I have one set, I am talking to the camera, and I have very simple edits within it. And I have maybe enhanced the production quality by adding graphics like transitions or word on words on the screen or anything like that. But those are just simple additions to the baseline talking head video. Now I use this exact same method as I said, within my YouTube channel, but also within my course, within my online course, as well as any sort of promotional videos that I might use. So if I'm creating a three-part video series that is helping people get started, I'm using this simple talking head strategy. Now, if I wanted to take things to the next level and kind of step up the game, once you've mastered this talking head video, then all you have to do is add what we call B-roll over your shot. So B-roll is the footage that goes over the talking head portion of your video. So if I was talking about Austin, Texas, then I could be seeing photos of Austin, Texas, you know, maybe the Capitol building or whatever else within Austin and showing what that looks like. That is B-roll and that can make your videos a whole lot more engaging. So if you master the talking head portion, all you gotta do is get a subscription to a stock video website. I recommend artgrid.io. It's a fantastic website where you can have unlimited amounts of downloads and it works really well. They have some really high quality clips in there. And so you don't even have to learn how to shoot B-roll. You can just take it from other people. Then once you learn how to work with it and you see kind of how other people are shooting it, then you can start going out and shooting it on your own as well. So you're kind of stair-stepping the approach of learning video instead of throwing yourself in the deep end right from the get-go, experiencing tons of resistance and never doing it again because of it. 
Now, before we wrap this video, I wanna to quickly touch upon editing. Editing gets a bad rap, and it's once again because people are trying to create these really complicated videos starting from day one. But when you create simple talking head videos, you don't need to know how to do fancy editing. You just need to do simple edits and graduate to doing more things later on, like I said, adding graphics or uh, text on screen or anything like that. So I really recommend just keep it simple. If you really want to keep it super, super simple, there's a program called Descript and you can edit video as if it is a Word document. It's really incredible. So just go ahead and follow the link in the description below to Descript and check it out. I'm telling you, you are going to love it. If you are planning to do a ton of videos, then I really do recommend learning how to edit and I recommend Premiere Pro for that. That is what I teach within my course and it seems as the beginner it seems to be really intimidating but I really recommend starting on that program because you will be able to endlessly scale your video skills without hitting an obstacle and having to switch programs at that time to learn an entire new software. Plus just a little quick plug for my online course. If you are curious about getting started in the fastest way possible and having someone just hand you the system and the step-by-steps of how to get started with video, then that's what I do within my course. But I also take it to the next level to where I give you the option to outsource your video editing. And if you were going to outsource your video editing, you'd want to be using a program like Premiere Pro because that's what the majority of editors use. So so you can learn how to do it. You can outsource the majority of your editing. You can make final tweaks uh, to the videos once you get it back. And this will seriously speed up your overall time. So the bottom line is if you are just kind of wanting to create one video really quickly, use Descript. If you are going to be using creating videos on a consistent basis, then it's worth learning Premiere. If this video was helpful, be sure to click like, drop a comment below with your thoughts or maybe some hesitations that you might be currently facing and I might just create a video about it for you. And if you wanna dive into the next video, then I will have linked to some on the screen right here to get you up and running on your video journey. I'll see you in the next video.